The seven star Typhlosion Terror Raid event is now back in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet for its second phase three. We're going to go through all the details in today's video, as well as the best builds for you to beat this Pokemon in your game. So as of recording this video on the 21st of April and running through until the 23rd of April, Typhlosion will be returning in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. The details of this raid, if we hop over to our trusty source at Cerebi, you can see that it will be set to level 100. It will be the Ghost Terra type and it will have the Mightiest Mark. Only one of these is catchable per save file. So if you caught this Typhlosion the first time round when it appeared from the 14th to the 16th, you're not going to be able to catch it this time round, but you can go in, battle it, be it and primarily you're going to do that for the amazing item drops that you're going to see here that you can get picked up from it ability patches included with this ghost terror shards and level up candies as well as some other high cost items including ability capsules ball caps and pp ups the moveset that typhlosion is going to run is primarily going to be eruption a shadow ball player of earthquake and then only one additional move and that will be sunny day and although typhlosion is a pretty tough pokemon if you don't go into it with the correct pokemon it is one of the easiest seven star raid events to beat so in our preview article that we put up just before the event went live with our best builds one of the pokemon that i featured in that was Meowth Garada. Now when the event went live I normally generally do a bunch of testing on which Pokemon are the best to go into this raid with. Farigaraf worked out well and Annihilate seemed to be the other one on top but Meowth Garada was something I did think could work but just couldn't figure out how until over the weekend and I tested a new idea and I believe Meowth Garada to be one of the best Pokemon to solo this raid with. So the build for the Meowth Garada that we're going to feature in today's video is this one indeed. It is very similar to the one we covered in our preview article. It is grass and dark with a dark terror typing. The item is a shell bell. It is essential for this for recovery once you start doing some big damage and it all comes down to the move set which is skill swap substitute nasty pull out and a dark pulse has an ev spread of 252 hp 252 special attack and a modest nature and that is everything that you're going to need to know on this particular meow scorada just make sure it's got that dark terror typing shell bell item this move set and then the ev spread that we've just mentioned all the details will be down in the description if you want to take a closer look at it now the basic premise with this meow scorada is to turn one skill swap you will steal the flash fire from the Typhlosion giving you complete immunity to the big threatening super effective fire type attacks for the rest of the game. Now the issue was before with the Typhlosion if you did go up against it with the Meow Scarada and you got the skill swap off turn one at the end of turn two Typhlosion throws up the sunny day nullifies all abilities and stack boosts on your side of the field and then throws an eruption up and because the abilities are nullified that turn flash fire doesn't protect you from the eruption and you faint then hit the field again you can skill swap but you're only going to be skill swapping overgrow off the typhlosion making the rest of the raid completely impossible so to get around this what you need to do is turn one skill swap with the meow scarada then turn two you go for the substitute that will then give you the immunity the turn that you need where it nullifies abilities and then goes for the eruption in the sun it will destroy the substitute but you will still be active on the field you will still have that flash fire and then after that you'll be able to go for those nasty plots boost yourself up and then start firing dog pulses off until you can terrestrialize you don't need to worry about your abilities being nullified again for the rest of the battle and you will make easy quick work of typhlosion with this meow scarada and it is a great build and i'm pleased we finally got it to work but it is one of those pokemon i feel can do a really good job and it is a little bit different from just using annihilate every single week when these seven star raids come around obviously the other build that we did feature in our last week episode that is one of the best one's going into this and it's a one that a lot of you probably already have to beat six star terror raids but an Ilip is a great pokemon you want that ghost terror typing on there shell bell as the item ev spread of 252 attack 252 special defense just to take those big special attacking moves from typhlosion a little bit easier defiant ability and then you want just basically the the move set is only rage fist but you can throw a screech in there it will speed things up if you can get a couple of screeches off turn one turn two turn three before you faint then come back just spam rage fist after this and you'll make easy work of the typhlosion like i say a lot of you probably already have this built in your game so it's not going to be too hard to grab and then just go in and farm for these items 
And the final Pokemon we will mention is Ferrigaraf. It was the main Pokemon that I featured last time and it was the main Pokemon that we use skill swap with because it has the natural bulk to be able to take the big attacks from Typhlosion. Turn one, you go for that skill swap, then you nasty plot Amnesia up and then you utilize stored power, which is boosted off the stat boosts on your side of the field. You don't need to worry about the ability for Ferrigaraf because we will be skill swapping it away and obtaining flash fire. EV spread though is 252 HP and then 252 special defense on the Furograph just to make sure you can take again big special attacks a lot easier from the Typhlosion again with a Shell Bell item for recovery but that is the Furograph and as always these Pokemon will all be down in the description below but the Meow Squadra like I say is the one that we're featuring today and I'm super pleased that we were able to get it to work just working around when the abilities were nullified and Typhlosion has that free turn because we weren't sure about that in the preview article but because of the substitute we're now able to utilize this pokemon and make good use of it and it does a really good job and if this terror Raid event is something you want to farm for those high cost items after you've beat the typhlosion with whatever pokemon you go into you can then reset your dens and spawn a new seven star raid and just keep going you need to do this by hitting your home menu coming down into system then into system settings down to date and time make sure your clock is off via the internet and then just press through the date and time click ok come back into home and then back into game and you'll see all of your dens will repopulate in the area and you'll be able to relocate the seven star terror raid den to go again and you can just repeat this process over and over again until you're satisfied with the amount of items you've got remember you can keep this event in your game until the next time you go online the event itself as i say will be ending on the 23rd of april but if you don't go online after this date the event will stay active in your game until the next time you do go online after the 23rd so that is everything for today's video i hope you have fun with this second phase of the typhlosion seven star terror raid event if you found today's video useful please drop a like it is massively helpful and let me know what your thoughts are on the meow scorada set and if you do use it in your games to take on this typhlosion i guarantee it will work and you'll have a lot of fun with it in the process do subscribe to the channel as well so you don't miss any future content covering pokemon scarlet and violet thank you again for tuning in have a great rest of your day and i will catch you all in another video very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye